Right, so we're doing a job which I've never done before. Never, ever, ever in my whole career have I worked on a urinal. Just never fitted them. Never done any maintenance on them. So this is the first for me. Now, customers called up and they've said terrible smell coming from the urinals. Lovely. Just the call that you want to have. Now, I've looked after this community hall for the last 12 months, I'd say. So anything plumbing, done the radiators, we've done fill valves in the disabled toilets, we've done the water heaters in the kitchens, we've replaced taps in the kitchens as well. So this is the first time working on the urinals. Now, he was not sure. Uh, the manager of this place, the treasurer. I think he's a, I think it's a community centre. He's probably a treasurer. Um, that, sorry, I just, why, why is it? Why does it sound funny? And then it was because I realised I had this under my mouth. Um, the treasurer was called up and he, he said, uh, "Yeah, it's not. It's not. It smells. I'm not sure whether the waste is blocked up or whether or not it is flushing." Now, it's going to have a sort of timer flush or a drip feed flush. Um, got to have a look at that, and then we'll see what's going on with that. So, I've got a bottle trap. It's an inch and a half bottle trap because that inch and a half waste pipes. There's someone now. I don't know who he is. He looks like Sparky. It's got to be a Sparky. He's old in DeWalt. Yo, bud! He's got to be a Sparky. He just said, oh, I've got the key here, and... Make sure you put it in the lockbox, but he looks clean, his van looks clean, and he's and he's carrying DeWalt, so I reckon he's a sparky. So let's have a look at a bottle trap anyway. So, why do we fit bottle traps uh, under your rhinos or anywhere where you're going to be clearing them out often? The reason being is, we can just take this bottle off, we don't have to disturb anything on the pipe work, get this bottle out. This cup out, tap it out, clean it out, screw it back on. Now I need to make sure I didn't lose that little washer there. Tighten it back on, job done. Now, not a lot really usually gets stuck in that bit or here, really. Um, it mostly gathers in this cup. So as you can see, the water flows down and it has to go round the sides, up and then out. So they're not ideal for uh kitchen sinks really anything where anything too big could get down in this side bit and block up but anything that's more liquidy like urine um that's what these are really for so let's go and have a look i didn't i got a bit worried when i first came in i was like is that radio leaking and then i realized Actually, if we just look around the edge, I think someone's mop, been in and mopped the floors earlier. Did make me worry though. So let's go to the men's urinal. I mean, that's not going to be a women's urinal, is it? Let's put it that way. Here they are. <sighs> it does stink. Right, so what tools have we got? Well, we haven't really got any tools. We've just got gloves. Gloves. And we've also got a rubble sack to put it straight in. Not gonna mess about with it. We're not gonna clean it out. We're just gonna replace it. So got gloves on. Oh, hang on a minute. This is this is gonna be a good fun now. What should I do? Like a like a like a disgust. Uh, uh. Like that. So like that. So good fun now. <laughs> a customer turning up oh, did make me jump. So let's have a look at this uh, fill valve. Is this filling up? No. So we turn this key, which should allow more through. We've got nothing. So it takes off. I want to see if we can get it working again first. Right, so it's a ball of fixed isolation valve, so we'll just turn that off. Right. Spoiler alert, it's absolutely had it it's an old-fashioned thing now it causes a hell of a lot of condensation because it is constantly running now the type that you want to put in have got a sensor so it senses someone walking in the room and that way it fills up it stops wow. and it's not continuous first thing we need to do is make sure we've got 
have we got water can we go into this valve so if I get my screwdriver wherever I put that or not we've actually got water in here which we have we got water there yeah. so now because there are multiple functions on and we want this toilet actually flush in we're just going to put a hose down and leave the ball of it slightly open so it drip feeds and fills now that will just fill up to a certain level and then flush itself so it's a temporary measure but it's one that we is necessary to stop these toilets stinking Right, so that looks good for now, so let's get on to the trap. Now, there is one trap at the end that looks like it's never been replaced because, look at the colour of it. So, I'm going to do this as quick as I can because, I'll tell you, as soon as that nut come off, that's a bad, bad smell. So we've got a nice, big, thick rubble sack underneath so we can catch that trap straight away to put it in so no spillage or anything can go on the floor. We don't want to be doing any clean up. This bag is going straight in the skip. Now, we'll have a little look at what's inside of that a little bit later on in the video, but for now, we need to get this new trap on and we need to bang it on as quick as we can. Now, luckily, everything is just inch and a half, and by looking at the photos that the customer had sent to me, I knew straight away what I needed to get. So, we're going to just bang over the new nut, the new washer, and the new rubber seal. So, we've got that over. We can actually just put this bottle trap in place. Now, we've got a bit of flex on the pipe as well, so... It's made it nice and easy. Now, just gonna do that up as quick as we can because the smell is going everywhere. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that ball valve and make that make sure that toilet flush is ASAP. Come on, can you blame me for swapping it over rather than cleaning it out? Because that's just body yeah. salt. Yeah. Oh, I always forget. Always, every time I forget. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you, do you want to see more of this sort of stuff, hit that button down there. Not the one on screen, that, that but the actual, the real one, not the actual one, not just the, like, the graphic. That one.